WKRG News 5 is your local election headquarters. Voting is open until 7 o'clock in certain parts of Mobile for three city council runoff elections in District 1, 2, and 6. We have team coverage, as you can see tonight, with Nicolette Schleisman, Gabby Easterwood, and Brianna Hollis all joining us live. The race getting the most attention. District 2, where the late LaVon Manzi is on the ballot running against former city councilman William Carroll. Let's go to Gabby first. A lot of controversy surrounding this race, Gabby. Yeah, absolutely. Cherish. And back in the primary, Manzi got 47% of the vote, and then Carroll got 22% of the vote. But the controversy is really surrounding the post death campaign and where the funding is coming from in regards to Mandy, Manzi's campaign election. Now, a political action committee called TSA PAC funded mailers that was sent to residents in District 2 that was pushing for Manzi to get elected. Now, TSA PAC was formed on August 31st and is run by a mobile native trips. Skipper, who has a long political history involving various Republican candidates' campaigns, including Senator Tuberville's. Now, voters and care have been concerned as part of Manzi's post-death post -death campaign, saying it has been ill-ran due to those outside funding. Now, he wants those who are funding this to come out of the shadows as well. Now, like we mentioned, Carroll previously held the seat until 2013, but he didn't run for re-election back then due to his mother's health that year, opening the seat up for Manzi. The Man Manzi family spoke with us earlier this week and said we're urging voters to vote for Manzi in honor of his legacy. But the majority of the signs and the mailers that gone out that have gone out were not from them. Now, if Manzi is elected, the special election will be called. And a special election really does clear the field to open up for candidates who might have stopped themselves before from running against a popular incumbent who was already on the ballot. Now, if that happens, that special election will be called 60 to 120 days after today. But again, obviously, this is not the only runoff that's happening today. We also have Nicolette Schleisman live who is covering the District 1 runoff. Yeah, Gabby, Corey Penn and Herman Thomas are facing off for the District 1 seat, which was vacated by Fred Richardson. Richardson held that seat for 25 years before leaving to run for mayor. Corey Penn and Herman Thomas emerged from a seven candidate pool in August. Now, during the August municipal elections, Corey Penn received 35% of the vote, and Herman Thomas had 28%. This could be a possible political comeback for Herman Thomas. He was a circuit judge who resigned in 2007 was disbarred and faced criminal charges. His trial ended with a hung jury. Thomas has been endorsed by Fred Richardson. The Mobile County Sheriff, Sam Cochran, also donated money to his campaign. Now, we spoke with Thomas yesterday. He said he was encouraged by the responses that they've been hearing in the community. Now, we did speak with uh, Penn earlier today, just a few minutes ago, and he says they are also energized and excited about this race. He says that um, they had the majority of the votes coming into this race, so they're excited to see what the results are today. Now, something interesting absentee voted, voting ended yesterday for Mobile City, and more than 500 people cast their absentee ballots. And of those 500 people, the majority of them were coming from the District 1 area. Now, WKRG News 5's Brianna Hollis is covering the District 6 race. So, Nicolette, this is a seat that opened up with Best Bridge announcing her retirement earlier this year. Scott Jones and Josh Woods were the two that ended up coming out on top out of the original four candidate pool. Jones secured about 44% of the vote in August compared to Woods' 38. And they were both out here in West Mobile at major intersections off of Airport Boulevard, waving signs, waving at people who were driving by. We spoke with both of them yesterday, and that's when they both were very adamant that they're very confident coming into today's race, and we'll be reporting live from both of their watch parties throughout the rest of the evening. Live in West Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Count on with continued team coverage at the polls throughout the evening. We'll also keep you up to date as the results come in on WKRG.com.